beloveds it's your girl clementine from big empress energy i'm sending you beautiful bountiful blessings be open to receiving them mm, mm, mm. me amores thank you so much for watching i am clementine chloe i record energy and people to fill oh and this is March predictions okay um pick a number okay this is not your regular pick a card okay because guess what i have been shuffled mm -mm. nah I'm gonna do it live, okay? I tried to record this video live. I tried to do a YouTube live, pero my internet connection was unstable. So I said, instead of risking going back live and I'm in the middle of a reading and it freezes and I'm gonna get mad, so let me just do it recorded, pre recorded, but I'm still gonna pull the cards live time, okay? So what you need to do to get the message for you for March predictions, my love, close your eyes. What number is coming to you? One, two, or three. Pick it now. Do not second guess yourself, okay? I'm going to have the timestamp so you could skip ahead to your reading so you know, though, okay? I really appreciate comments, okay? Please comment if the reading resonates with you. I truly appreciate reading all the comments, even if I cannot get to all the comments, okay? Also, another thing, you can also tip, all right, uh, cash app, big empress energy okay there you could also buy me a coffee okay the link will be in the description box as well for that uh i appreciate the energy exchange okay and i'm also doing i'm filming this right now this is march 5th i have a a reiki okay a collective reiki i'm doing okay um for the collective all right i posted about it on my instagram i'm really active on instagram um and basically, this is going to be to calm the energies of the full moon, okay? I'm going to be focusing on sacral chakra healing, okay? Because that's what the collective needs right now as we're dealing with some changes and we're trying to create some new conditions for our lives collectively. So if you want to be added included into my candle Reiki, you can send 11.11 to Big Empress Energy, $11.11 to Big Empress Energy, cash app or paypal.me slash NYC Empress. Everything will be in the description box. And all you need to do is include your name. I will most likely post a time-lapse video of the candle like I did last time. It may be general mess messages that came up for the collective. And that's basically it. To receive Reiki, it works with the subtle body. It's not the physical. It's more the energetic body, okay? So you will feel the results on an energetic level, okay? You might feel lighter. You might get really good sleep. You A lot of emotional things that you had in the past might come up, okay? It's different for everybody, so keep that in mind, okay? So now let's get into my number one pile. Can I get an okra for my number ones? Okra! number one what it do i feel like march is going to be a, a month of messages and communication because since i started recording i must have gotten three fucking phone calls so <laughs> people got some shit to say up in march okay you got some shit to say you need to say it close mouths don't get fed okay so my number one what do you need to know in march what do you need to know what is your energy for march my number ones Okay, I'm feeling like you need to take your power back. My number ones need to take their power back, okay? Um, my number ones need to take their power back because I feel like um, they, they need to lead with um, authority, okay? I'm feeling a lot of yellow, that solar solar um, plexus chakra, okay? And then what I see at the cards, all core cards. So I do feel like you're going to be having a lot of communication. You're going to be in contact with a lot of people in March or be being influenced by a lot of people because all the cards I pulled for you are core cards. We have queen of wands representing your energy here in the reverse. So in March, you're going to need to be a little bit more confident, confident in your ideas, confident about your passions, maybe even working with fire, candle magic um, as well. I'm seeing a lot of fire energy because we also have the knight of wands in the reverse i feel like you need to know like you don't have to settle for shit okay don't settle for shit okay um you might be wanting to rush something okay with the knight of wands in the reverse you want to rush the process okay you don't trust in divine time or even if you think that you do there's a part of you that's just like but why not now but why not now spirit why not right motherfucking now and spirit's like we have the knight of pentacles okay so it's like slow your roll homie 
Drive slow, homie. Okay, Knight of Pentacles energy here is saying here to be consistent. Okay, yes, it's great to have, ooh, angels coming in heavy here. Okay, I'm feeling your angels and your guys right now. Um, To be consistent, okay, with whatever, whatever you have, whatever you have an idea. You maybe have a clear insight on what it is that you want to create, but now you need to put in the actions. But the actions ain't going to... Uh, translate into rapid success. The actions are going to translate into steps, little step-by-step -step shit that you'll be doing. Okay. That's going to help you to get where you need to go. Now we have the Knight of Pentacles. So stay consistent with whatever this is. This is also saying to remain stubborn with your goals, remain stubborn with your passion. Okay. That means that you're not backing down. Okay. You don't care about other people's opinions. Other, if you live your life about other people's expectations about you, you will not get far. People have a million reasons why you can't do this, why you can't do that, and why you can't do this, okay? Don't ever go to somebody for advice if they've never been where you going. They cannot give you directions if they've never been where you going, okay? Because with this energy, you could be really easily influenced by other people's opinions, really easily influenced by the energies of people around you. And that could be diminishing or extinguishing your confidence in the fire that you have. And in face of adversity, you have to be clear about why, Knight of Swords, about why you're doing something. And I did say too here about your power. You're calling in your power by verbalizing it, okay? Also seeing here the throat chakra, okay? So with the throat chakra, it's like closed mouths don't get fed, my love. Did I say that or did I? Because I was thinking that, okay? Closed mouths don't get fed for you guys. So that's the challenges for you guys to really speak up for yourself in the month of March. You're really needing to maybe say or do things in a way that you've never done before. So people could be taking you a little bit more seriously, okay? So people could be, and I feel like this is a month for you to gain your confidence, okay? To gain confidence. I'm feeling slow and steady organic success for you guys as well. Transformational insight as well. Um... It's like you get an idea. I feel like that could change your life forever. You have a, a conversation that could change your life forever. You're having to rely a lot on your intelligence too, okay? On your intelligence, on logic in the month of March. It's like you know better, you better do better. Don't know better, but want to rush through it. That's not how it works. Some of the blocks you have for March is divine timing. You're like a motherfucking sad. <laughs> we got divine timing as your block. You're wanting to rush something. You're wanting to go a million miles per minute, but it's like, hold your horses, fam. Hold your horses. Okay? Divine timing as a block. You cannot rush greatness. You cannot rush perfection. You have to practice every single day. Progress is perfection okay ancient wisdom as a block maybe there is a text that you can go back to feel like if this is about you studying or learning more um going back to the ancient leaders or thought thought leaders in your field in your chosen field ancient wisdom somebody knows more than you who's that person go out find them learn from them maybe this i feel like i don't know why ancient wisdom is also telling me too to go on YouTube, maybe there's a YouTube video, someone on YouTube who can help you. I don't know, okay? I don't know what that's about. But if that's for you, comment and let me know. And know that there's wisdom available to you, okay? You just have to go out and seek it and see it clearly. It's almost like creative solutions, okay? We also have inner journey as a block. So you need to less, like as I've been saying, care less about what other people are thinking about you. Care less about the influences in your life. Are you influenced or inspired? Okay, like Imani, the hood healer, has uh, brought up recently. Okay, I saw her tweet that. And are you living a life of influence or inspiration? And with this energy, inner journal, inner journey, it's about inspiration. Okay, you're not being influenced by other people's opinions. Again. I'm asking you in the month of March to lose your Fs that you give about other people's opinions, okay? Um, even your family, even your ch children, okay? We have inner journey, okay, as a block. So there's something within you here that's blocking you, all right? Um, it could be something that happened to you in your childhood or many lifetimes ago that's sticking to you. And it's kind of like you're breaking down thought forms that you've had for so long. You're breaking generational traumas, generational curses. And when I'm talking generation, I'm also talking about soul generation. Your soul has had many lifetimes. So it could be also that, be mindful. Okay, now let's see what you are not seeing. 
what is the energy that you are not seeing in in March? You are not seeing. There's better things to come. Three of Wands, okay? Better things to come. I do feel like you're going to be getting a lot of messages here in March, okay? Maybe something you've been waiting for for a long time. Some of you guys are going back to school or learning. We have the Hierophant card. Maybe there's a new course that you're taking in March. You're learning something more. This is definitely saying to make an investment in your education, investment in furthering your studies. Even if it's not traditional education, could even be occult education, astrology education, um, tarot education. Um, some of you guys are really in tune with esoteric wisdom and knowledge. Maybe you guys are spiritualists, okay? Because I'm seeing the ancient wisdom and the hierophant. So I feel like you guys are really into, you know, probably as well, like the hermetic principles, the science of mind, all right? And it's like, you're inspired by these thought leaders, but you have your own truth to tell. You have your own truth to tell. Um, and But you have to trust in the divine time, okay? That's, that's one of the challenges I'm feeling like for you guys, okay? Is trusting in, you know, that, that just because something's not happening right now doesn't mean it's never going to happen, okay? Just because something isn't happening right now doesn't mean it's never going to happen. Almost feeling like your faith, or your, your, faith your faith or your commitment is being tested. Your faith or your commitment, okay? You're also getting a lot of dreams, okay, in March, all right? Visitors in your dreams, ancestors, could be a grandmother, grandfather coming to you in your dreams, um spirit guides people trying to send you messages in your dreams so i hope that you're keeping a pen and pad by your bed okay because you need to write it down we have teacher and guardian some of you guys need a teacher or need someone who knows or has been a little been around the field longer than you because i'm seeing a lot of teachers there's a, a guru of sorts for you right now we also have unicorn innocence trust and honesty okay so i feel like with this um your subconscious maybe it lacks trust okay or you could be a little naive too. There could be rose colored glasses. And that's why you need to think clear, clearer. You need to think more strategically, okay? Think more strategically. Don't be so naive is actually what, what's coming through. Don't be so naive. Don't be so naive to think that like things are gonna happen like, pew, things happen and stop. It could take time, okay? That's the energy here. Also, I feel like you have a unique, uh, you have something very unique to offer that no one can do like you, okay? We also have cats, okay? This is saying it's your time to strike out. <laughs> Strike out on your own and relinquish your over dependency on others. Okay, like I said, stop caring about other people's thinking. What other people thinking about you? This is about you being independent. Okay, you being a leader. We also have Pueyo. Okay, like I said, your ancestors. It says your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance now. So pay pay close attention to signs and omens from them. So they're sending you messages in your dreams. Pay attention. They're giving you guidance in your dreams. Pay attention. Don't be so naive that you're blind to the signs okay so that's my message for you guys number one if it resonates with you please comment okay you can also tip buy me a coffee okay or book a private reading at big empress energy llc.com if you're interested in reiki energy healing you can also send eleven dollars and eleven cents to cash at big empress energy all right and put your full name now let's get into number two i don't know what is going on in terms of like, I'm get I'm getting blown up, like. Hey, holler up, holler, holler. My dad said he made dinner. If I want to come over. Okay, now, can I get a okra oh, for my number two? Okra, oh, number two. What to do? What to do? Number two. March predictions. Okay, so let's see what energy you're dealing with number two for March. For the month of March, what are my number twos dealing with? For the month of March, what are my number twos dealing with? Dang. The spirit told me to do only pick only pick two, and I pick I said no pick three. Spirit told me only do two. Yeah, this is a spirit. Okay, but we're gonna do three because I told you to pick one, two, or three. 
Okay. Number twos. What's the message for number twos? You are never alone, number two. You are never alone. Even if you feel alone, you are not alone. Your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors always walk with you. You are protected and provided for. You don't have to work as hard as you're working to get what you want. There's a lot of scarcity mindset and limited thinking here. A lot. I feel like you make shit a lot harder on yourself than it needs to be. Fuck. I don't know why I just pulled out all these fucking cards for number two. two. <laughs> like, I pulled out all these fucking cards, but yeah, okay? So let's get into it. We got the five of pentacles that flipped out, okay? So I feel like if you've been going through a struggle, spirit's trying to bring you out of that struggle. Spirit's trying to put you on a new journey, put you on a new path. This is the energy of like almost fucking like, I don't know if someone recently hurt you. Could be a heartbreak, could be an ex that you're still dealing with, an ex who hurt you, um, someone who you were messing around with, they get talking to. Um, you could even be still in a relationship but just feel a little bit isolated from this person. Um, guilt. There's like guilt, there's shame, there's anxiety, there's taking on too much. But spirit's trying to offer you something fresh. I feel like for the spring energy, you're being offered. Some of you guys may be moving, maybe getting a new job, maybe choosing a new career path, maybe. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of like relocation or just changes, okay? You have a lot coming to you. I feel like you need to open yourself up to receive the blessings. It's a challenge for you to receive blessings, okay? Because I feel like you still need to forgive yourself or your inner child may need some attention in March, okay? Your inner child may need some attention in March, okay? Let me show you what we're working with here. We have the Six of Cups as your energy, okay? With the Ten of Swords. Some of you guys could have had exes come back around this time, um, around March, all right, um, as well. And this could be really hard for you. Maybe you just got over them and then they, they want to be friends. And you're like, bro, I don't want to be friends with you, but I do want to be friends with you because I miss you so fucking much. Okay. Um, this could also be here. A child in your life feeling a little bit left out, okay? So if you do have children or nieces and nephews, maybe it could be a good time as well to spend a little bit of extra time with your children, okay? I feel like you need to make more time for play, okay, and creativity because it does seem like, wow. Okay, also, I don't know this energy of maybe someone as well back stabbing you, not having your best interest at heart and spirit trying to remove someone from your life. So I feel like if someone, if spirit has been trying to remove someone for your life, why are you gonna fight to keep them back in your life? Why are you gonna fight to get them back in your life? You have to accept and respect your worth and your value. Respect your worth and your value. We have, you know, the Ace of Swords as your background and the reverse. Ace of Swords is the reverse as your background. So you could have a lot of confusion, okay? A lot of confusion during this month. Um, indecision, okay? Not really being able to trust your intuition because you cannot discern your intuition from your anxiety, okay? Um, we also have the Ace of Wands, okay? Um, representing your energy in the reverse. I feel like you're not taking... You're not seeing shit like as it really is, okay? So I feel like I need you to get your head out your ass, number two, and I need you to tell me three things right now that you're grateful for. Tell me three things right now that you're grateful for. And you, one of them things needs to be the person or the situation that spirit is removing from your life, okay? Um, because you are being called to something higher. You are being called to something greater, okay? Um, and you cannot take everyone with you. You cannot take all your responsibilities with you. You can only do but so many motherfucking things in one motherfucking day. Okay. So why I'm saying this, okay, you do have the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Okay. Um, so now you have one 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 with the aces, one one one, and then you have ten ten with the um 
you have 10, 10 here. Okay. So I do see an ending 10 and a beginning one, um, seven of swords, someone, you know, spirit, as, as I said, is moving you away from somebody. We have the six of swords, um, moving on. And it's like, you don't know exactly where you're going, but you cannot stay where you are anymore. You do have to move seven of swords in reverse. You did not leave anything in the past. So why are you looking back there? You did not leave anything in the past. Why are you looking back there? Why? There's nothing for you there. It's creating more anxiety for you. Ten of Wands is saying here, you don't have to carry all this weight by yourself. Who can help you? Who can help you? Or can you help yourself by spring cleaning? Spring cleaning your friends. Spring cleaning your responsibilities. Spring mother effing cleaning, okay? I do see a lot of triggers happening for you in March. You are gonna be tested beyond your belief in March, okay? We have the strength card in the reverse. So, but this is all to teach you how powerful, how strong you are, how much, how to live in alignment with your soul's purpose. We have the judgment card in the reverse. Could also be dealing here as well. Yo, ancestors protecting, trying to give you signs. Ancestors trying to send you signs through 111, through 1010, but you don't wanna listen though. You ain't, you ain't trying to hear it though. All right, let's see what's blocking you. So blocking you, perception, the way that you're thinking about things, you need, like you, you have a lot of tension and stress in this month. It'd be helpful for you to work with forgiving yourself, forgiving yourself, forgiving others, and almost starting with a clean slate. Perception, the way that you're thinking about things. Is what you're thinking, is a narrator in your mind, a trusty narrator, is it true? Um, you feel like with this, you need to kind of have faith. This is the energy of having faith that where you're going is better than where you've been. We also have the sacred space card. Okay, so it could be very beneficial for you in March to have an altar where you go and pray and meditate to create a space for yourself. Also create space in your body for forgiveness, create space in your schedule for play, for something you've always loved to do. Another block we have is psychic development. So your intuition is blocked at this point. Okay, you cannot discern your intuition. So so with this, I am seeing that you guys need to get quiet and be still, okay? You need to get quiet and be still and ask your spirit team what they're trying to tell to you. We also have creativity as a block. So that's what I'm saying here. Like for you guys, you need to be focusing on creative solutions, on, on questioning everything that you thought was true because a lot of it wasn't. A lot of it wasn't true. But you, your soul does have a truth to sing and to bring into this world, okay? And you need to say some of it, you guys, it was a blessing that this person had left you. It was a blessing that this person had left you, okay? Woo! Yes. So you guys definitely should get in my Reiki, okay? We have orange and yellow, okay? Yellow, I was feeling for number one, actually, too. Yellow and orange, you need to work on your solar and sacral chakra. These are energies in you that your chakras could be a little weak and depleted here, okay? Reiki can help. You guys could also YouTube um, sacral chakra healing, solar plexus chakra healing. Some of the things that you're facing is, you know, coming into your own personal power and creating the change or going with the change that is coming to you. We have creativity and change. So creativity is coming up a lot for you guys. Um, so you could be getting creative ideas and downloads in March or need to um, think about things a little bit more creatively, all right? I feel like there's gonna be so much change for you guys in March. And it's like, it's almost like a weight like being actually taken off of your back. Maybe you guys have been, you know, driving yourself crazy trying to think about what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? The answer comes to you. Once you get clear on it, make a decision to go take that first step. You're coming into your personal power. You're coming into your strength. You're stepping into alignment with your soul's calling. Okay. I love this number two. Okay. This is a lot. All right. This is a lot. This is why, I'm, this is why spirit was like, you only need to do two messages. Peacock, okay? We have let yourself stand out and be 
noticed okay so that means i feel like for you guys it could be great to do something a little bit different you know wear bold colors wear a bold lip wear a color you haven't worn in a long time okay i'm seeing coral all right yellow orange fuck it do it all you also have tortoise okay this says you're too fragmented so do whatever it takes to get grounded okay your mind is creating too much in your in your head you need to take time to get grounded so breath work meditation walking meditations shower meditations um because divine is trying to strengthen your spirit okay so that is my reading for you guys okay number two if the reading resonated please comment i love to read the comments you can also tip um or buy me a coffee the link is in the description box i really appreciate the energy exchange um and you could also book a private reading or shop beloved botanica at big empress energy llc do it cool okay yes okay My number threes, my number threes. Y'all special number three, y'all real special. Can I get an oh crap for my number three? Oh crap, number three, three, three. All right, number three, what are you dealing with in March? Ooh, conflict, conflict. I feel like you're tired of your own shit. Yeah, the conflict is within you. You tired of your own shit. Oh shit, y'all tired. Y'all sick and tired. We got the four of cups and the five of wands in the reverse. That flipped out the deck for you guys. So I'm feeling like with that energy here, you guys are probably going really back and forth in your head about something. You guys have a lot of conflict about something. I feel like you tired of your own shit. Could also be someone around you though, okay? Could be an earth sign. Could be any sign. But you're needing to stand your ground, okay, with this energy. You're needing to stand your ground, okay? Number three, great month in March for y'all to start <laughs> or y'all to continue, y'all to do some meditation. I'm seeing this four of cups right now as her meditating, okay? She's also, her shirt says over it, you're over it. I feel like you're over the drama, you're over the fighting, you're over the bullshit. Maybe there's someone in your life that things had come to a head with y'all, okay? Um, some secret might have been revealed, all right? Um, or some miscommunication. Now you know how someone really feels. It could be an earth sign. I'm seeing a lot of earth energy. Could be Aquarius, could be a water sign, could be anybody, okay? But there's conflict. And Spirit's actually saying here for you, I wanna tell you less is more. Okay, less is more. You don't have to engage. It's almost like do not engage. Four of Cups is like, don't, don't engage. Why are you going to get involved with this? Why are you going to get involved? Oh, shit, now I see all of them have masks and everything. Why are you going to get involved with this? It's not going to end up good. Okay. Uh, we have the Seven of Wands in the reversed, okay? The Fool card in the reversed and the Everything is Fine card. These are representing your energy. So you could be wanting to defend yourself around these people, okay? It's like, no, it wasn't like that. It was like this and da 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 da, -da. And it's like, who are you trying to prove it to? Only person you need to care about their opinion is you. As long as you're not hurting anybody physically, mentally, emotionally. You don't need to care, Okay, albeit you're not doing none of that, you got. Okay, um, the full card in the reverse here, I feel like you need to look at something in a new way. Look at a situation in a new way, okay? Not everything is against you, okay? I feel like this is energy too of taking things personal, but not everything is against you. It's not personal. Never take shit personal. Never take shit personal. If someone's having a problem with you, it's about them. People are reflecting. We are mirrors for each other, okay? Not to say, you know, don't be accountable for your actions and your behaviors. I definitely, you know, keep it real with yourself. But it does feel like 
it has nothing to do with you, okay? Uh, with this seven of swords here, it's like you're almost defending yourself, but for what? You know what I'm saying? To who? Who are you trying to prove something to? The full card in the reverse, like, don't care, okay, what other people are thinking about you. You have to follow the beat of your own drum. People will backstab you. People will say things that make you upset. Also seeing here, you might be keeping eyes on someone, eyes on an old friend, spying on someone or you could be comparing your life so much so if this isn't actually happening in your external it could be happening in your internal where you're so unsatisfied with your own life because you're freaking creating makeup scenarios in your own mind you're searching other people's social media okay um and i feel like there could be immature communication all right that's that's a general miss immature communication here um and with the knight of cups as your background this is saying being a, be a little bit more sweet if you don't got nothing nice to say Shut the fuck up, okay? That's how the saying goes, right? <laughs> um, everything is fine in the reverse. It's like, are you distracting yourself from the real problem, okay? The real problem could be your own self-worth. Why are you letting these thoughts or letting these people impact you? The cards that you have as your invitation is very interesting is why I said an earth sign. You have king of pentacles and queen of pentacles as your invitation, both in the reverse. So in some form or capacity, you are undervaluing yourself. You're selling yourself short. You're still playing small. You are not putting a proper price tag on your energy. Okay, beloved. And it's going to become painstakingly obvious. I'm seeing here too with the Virgo full moon, we have the moon card. It's going to be an emotional moon for you, the Virgo full moon, okay? It's going to be a moon maybe which you're having relationship issues. Uh, you're confronting your financial um, life. Things like this, you're you you you're facing these type of issues, okay? And I feel like you're you're needing to see here, you're needing to see yourself the way God sees you. You need to see yourself the way your spirit team sees you. You need to see yourself in that light, okay? You need to see how powerful you are, how you can be embodying, manifesting, and materializing what you want, okay? But not in an attitude of ungratefulness okay we have the seven of pentacles and the f five of swords i feel like some communication is leaving you unsatisfied some people are leaving you unsatisfied and those are the people that you don't need to take with you on this journey okay um let's see what is blocking you i feel like you know you this is going to be a work a month for you to work hard work hard on yourself um avoid drama like the knight of cups in the reverse be a little bit more charming a little less defensive um everything is fine as you it's almost like don't distract yourself you guys also might need to take a social media break in march um so you can see things in a new way let's see some of your blocks you have is ascension so you are being pulled to ascend whatever you're going through is part of an initiation process you also have death as a block. So that's talking about a lot of changes, changes to your personality, perhaps changes to your friends group, changes to your lifestyle, maybe how much time you're spending on social media, but death, I feel like there's something you have to let go of. Okay. Could be, I feel like it's the way that you're looking at things. You need to look at things in a new way. Uh, you need to stop playing small. You need to, and I feel like this is also going to be an abundant month for you if you let it. Okay, we have teaching in the reverse as a block. So maybe there's something that you need to learn if you've been thinking about going back to school or taking a course that could be really beneficial for you. Okay, I'm also seeing with the moon card here as your invitation. Um, sudden insights and realizations. Okay, um, dream downloads. You know, you might be having very vivid dreams around the Virgo full moon. Uh, dreams with fucking information. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Could be a father, grandfather too visiting you. We have some of the things you're not seeing. King of Cups, that emotional balance, okay? You need to be emotionally mature about things, okay? The high priestess in the reverse. You need to trust your intuition. So before you say something, ask your intuition if it's worth it. And if your intuition says no, lock away and throw away the key. We have six of swords as your as what you're not seeing too. So there is something you were needing to move on from. There is something better to come, but you have to let go of the old. That's that death energy. We also have the emperor card uh, as what you're not seeing. I feel like you're not seeing how powerful you are. You're not seeing, you're not, you need to tap in with your divine masculine energy, self-will, self-discipline, okay? And we also have Queen of Wands in the reverse as you're not seeing your confidence and your power. You're not seeing that you're the one in the control. That every time you react to somebody else, you're giving them control. And 
taking control away from yourself, okay? And, and we don't do that. We don't do that shit around here. And for a card for what you're not seeing, I feel like it could be you need a, also to say in here, think about things in the long term, what you want 10, 10 years down the line. And if what you're doing today is not aligned, bye-bye. Oh, you have white and violet, okay? So your chakras that are, you know, wanting um, attention is your crown chakra and your third eye chakra and also all your chakras, I feel like, with this energy, with this card, okay? All your chakras. Could be beneficial for you guys to do the Reiki too that I'm offering, the Virgo full moon. Um, but this is about here, you, uh, I do think you need an auric cleanse, okay? Um... You know, maybe if you have some sage, you need to sage yourself. You need to spray some Florida water on you. If you don't have it, I have it in the Bileva Botanica. No te preocupes, okay? Um, but this is saying source, divinity, enlightenment. So you need to realize that you're connected to source, okay? Spirituality, wisdom, humil humility. And I feel like as well, be humble and be making wise choices. Don't let people take your power away. Or don't give your power away. Don't give your power away. Um, trust your intuition. Um, and I feel like it could be good for you to do a crown chakra meditation. Also, I want you guys in March to, um, wake up in the morning, put your feet on the ground and visualize white light, um, around you. Okay. Protecting you. That's just hilarious. This is exactly what we talk about. Blue Heron. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. Okay? Okay? Put your foot down. Uh, this says music is a humpback whale. Music is essential for your healing and, and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. Um, angel music on YouTube. Um sound baths on youtube could be really helpful for you could be good for you as well if you want to manifest to do chanting chanting is very um it changes your vibration changes and it raises your frequency okay we also have rattlesnake okay this is saying the experiences that you're presently going through are an initiation fulfilling your purpose as a healer so whatever conflict and struggle you're going through right now issues with self-worth issues with people in your life issues with communication are all coming to you to strengthen you, okay, my love? So please feel free to email me to let me know how this reading resonates with you. I love to read the comments, okay? Follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash Big Empress Energy. You can also tip, okay? Buy me a coffee, link in the description box, or shop Be Love Botanica, book a reading with your girl at Big Empress Energy, LLC, do it. Sending you guys so much love and blessings, like, oh my God. And I cannot wait to do this um, candle Reiki healing for the Virgo full moon. So send in your $11 and 11 cents to be included in the Reiki healing. Love you guys. Bye.